So first we have a desmoid tumor. I couldn't find a good picture of this, but just know these characteristics so you're able to point it out. These are benign. They grow slowly. They have a really high association with people who are FAP. Um, and this is when you have a mutation in the APC gene. They have colon cancer usually. It's also associated with Gardner syndrome. Desmoid tumors have a really high rate of recurring even after they're surgically removed. This is in contrast to a lipoma that after you surgically remove lipomas, they don't come back. Lipomas are benign. They're soft. And honestly, they're not really a big issue for patients unless it's like a cosmetic issue, if it's a really large lipoma, or if they just have a bunch of them, they'll get them removed. Next, we have an epidermal inclusion cyst. This one's firm, um, and it also has a central punctum, which is a black dot in the center. Also benign, histology will show squamous cell epithelium and also have some keratin. These ones will resolve spontaneously, but they can reoccur. Next, we have a dermatofibroma. So these are made up of fibroblasts, and these ones as well are firm, but they'll dimple when you pinch, pinch it. A keratoacanthoma. So this one is pretty easy to point out. It kind of looks like a volcano to me. These ones will grow rapidly, but then they'll also just regress on its own. Um, they can kind of look like squamous cell carcinoma or actinic keratosis. So just to be on the safe side, you can do it in you can do an excisional biopsy and just double check. So all of these kind of sound similar in some ways. So I created this slide to kind of compare and contrast them. And I made this table so you can keep them straight in your mind with the characteristics. So feel free to spend some time on this slide.